It's not that I'm fast. It's not that I'm strong. It's not because I come from a family of fighters. It's because I'm the smartest up here. There's no fighter out there that can match me up here. What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. It's your boy Remus, and listen, I'm the doubt killer, belief filler, the one that's going to convince you that you are a winner. Why? Because I'm going to add Champ Set to your mind. This is the home for champions in training. This is the Champ Set Podcast, and today we're going to be talking about taking charge of your career, taking charge of your life, having responsibility and taking accountability for everything that's going to happen from now until the end of your career. Now, the reason why this is an important topic is because I've studied this stuff and I've seen that one of the most important traits of a champion is the ability to be a leader, the ability to show the world that you you are a leader and if you you can't lead anything else if you can't lead yourself and to be able to be able to lead yourself you need to be able to take responsibility for everything that is happening in your life nothing nothing that you have right nothing no result in your life must be attributed to the power of somebody else and the reason why is because once you take away the power from someone else it frees up the space for you to be able to take control and have that power over yourself now you with it being your life no one else should have power over your life it's your life and we're gonna say this we're gonna talk about this because we're gonna be talking about this because this is your career you have to take charge you can't blame anybody else if something doesn't go your way you can't blame anyone else if you're not able to do what's required to make sure you get what you want on this pursuit to greatness like let's say for example you i don't know you lose a fight right and partly it's because maybe you didn't go 100 percent in training because maybe your friend or you know your partner or you know your trainer or whatever just made the training schedule not what you want it to be or something like, like let's say for example that i, I mean I, I give this example in automatic ambition let's say for example that you go to the gym right you're on time maybe you show up for a session at whatever time it is and your trainer your coach is a bit late and he start he's running late and what happens is now you have to wait for him to get there. But let's say he does this two, three times a month or, you know, he does this consistently and frequently. What a lot of fighters will do is they don't have this leadership mentality. They just, they're just going with the wind. They're just going with what everyone else wants them to go with. So they allow those situations to go by and they don't say to themselves, wait, this is my career this is my life this is everything that's going to happen on this journey should be down to me so i can't allow me to miss training or even miss five minutes of training because someone else is late no no some way somehow i've come here for let's say you want to do two and a half hours for that session or whatever it is you say some way somehow regardless of that person or this person two and a half hours of working out this afternoon is going to be done and it takes it sounds easy when you hear it but it takes a lot of confidence it takes a lot of belief and it takes a lot of um responsibility right and leadership skills to make sure that the plan goes it goes to plan even when other people even when other people start to mess it up so no matter so so let's go back to the example Let's say you had a trainer who is, you know, he has a habit of being late a lot of the time. And, you know, you're kind of annoyed by this because you want to start, you know, when you're supposed to start so that you get the full time that you need. What I would suggest you do is if something like that ever happened, you just start without him. Even if, um, even if, let's say, for example, the gym needs to be opened, you can still just work out right outside. Like be proactive, take charge, do what no one else, do what no one else would do. 
work out right on the spot, whether that be warming up, shadow boxing, or or whether whatever it is, to make sure that you still stick to the plan of doing two and a half hours um of a session that afternoon if that's what you wanted to do like the idea of this is just to say make sure you stick to the plan and don't let anyone else mess up the plan and now if someone else does mess up the plan it's on you to readjust whatever you are doing that day to make sure that the plan still goes ahead a lot of people aren't i mean you can't really expect you can't really expect another person to care more about your career than you is your career you have to care the most and if and then what if you notice that let's say i don't know um you have to get dropped to the gym by some for, um by someone and you notice let's say they was doing it for free right you had a friend that was always going that way maybe you don't have a car this is just a made-up scenario but let's say you, you don't have a car um your friend is always late and he's doing you a favor so you can't really moan too much you should, or that person who, who was in that situation should go, no, nope, I'm not going to be late. So maybe if I have to pay him a bit extra, you know, maybe he was doing it for free. If I have to pay him to make sure he comes on time, you know, he's going to come on time because I have to get to that gym at that specific time. I have to get to that gym. What, like when I say I'm going to train is when I'm going to train. And that's the mindset you got to have. You're going to notice that other people I mean, it's not even that they have bad intentions, but you're going to notice that other people are going to mess up the plan. Other people are going to mess up the training. When their emotions change, now your plan's got to change. When they, maybe your friends want to go do something, but you know you have to go to training. You have to take charge and go, this is my career. If anything happens, um, if anything goes wrong in this, it's going to be down to me. They're not going to cry with me. You know what I'm saying? And if, if, even if they do cry with you, they're not going to cry and feel it as, as hard and as much as you're going to feel it. At the end of the day, the success is down to you. And if, you, if, if you're going to allow yourself to go through a painful experience, you are going to be the only one feeling it as much as you're going to feel it. No one else is going to feel it. Maybe, maybe they'll want you to win in that day, but they'll get over it the next day. If you lose and it was because you didn't sacrifice enough because you allowed another person to uh, to mess with the plan, you are going to feel guilty. So that's just a kick up, you know, the backside just to remind you because no one else is going to. Um, stay focused. Let's get it. See you on the next episode. Shamsa. If you liked that video where we was going over the mental aspects of fighting and if you want to take your mindset and boxing to the next level, what I want you to do is check out the online recordings of the Remus Boxing Masterclass, which was a class that we did to go over fight strategy and mindset concepts. It's two hours worth of recordings in which we go over different things such as dealing with pressure, controlling the mind, fight strategies and designing your mind so that it's ready for war. All you have to do is go in the link in the description so that you can watch it online or download it so you can watch it wherever you want to watch it. Remember, boxing is mostly mental so you have to train your mind just as much as you train your body and I'm sure this is going to help. So after you watch it, let me know what you think. Peace.